Yo, what's up guys? Anruf here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. In today's video, we're taking yet another look at five amazing Android applications that are not on the Play Store, but are ones that you should try out regardless because they help you enhance your usability of Android just by a little bit more. So if you're looking for a few cool applications or you just want to find out about more apps that are not on the Play Store, you've come to the right place. With that said, without any further ado, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Alright guys, so we are back with the top down setup as well as the A roll. So as you can see, I have taken the liberty and created a little folder containing five of the applications that we are going to be talking about today. Now the first app that we'll be talking about is called Atomize and Atomize is basically a completely open source application from F-Droid. By the way, most of these apps in today's list are from F-Droid. So if you want, you can just download F-Droid and look for these apps yourself or watch this video till the end, which I would highly recommend for the algorithm. So yeah, with that said, Atomize is an application that can shrink the file size of an image significantly, often by as much as 70% and maintains all the images transparency with little to no loss in quality. Now it uses PNG Quaint as its backend and it's fully open source, meaning you don't have to worry about anything. Simply download it from the link in the description below. Open it up, hit on select a photo, select the photo that you want to select and you know, basically compress and allow the permission and all you have to do is then click on atomize what this will do is let you have a smaller size of the same photo but it will be the exact same photo in more than 10 scenarios and you'll just find yourself using a lot less storage than usual definitely check it out link will be in the description below with that said at number two we've got Clima, and once again this is an open source application that is basically a very very cool and minimal uh, you know weather application it has no ads it has no nonsense it's just a lot of you know clean info about the city you can access any city in the world so i can type new york over here and you know get the weather for that and basically i really like the app it also has a dark theme which turns things very amoled and very cool and it looks really really good it shows you the weather it shows you the speed of the wind and the temperature as well i honestly feel like if you want a no nonsense weather app with not a lot of functionality but basically showing you the core weather that's it no ads no bs this is the app to get definitely check it out link in the description below with that said guys at number three we've got currencies and just like the name suggests this is yet another simple and open source application that lets you browse between different currency values so for example over here we've selected the american dollar versus indian inr so when you type in one on this numpad that you have you can see that the value of one usd right now is 72.51 indian rupees now you can obviously switch them up and you can also select the different currencies there are a lot of currencies i think all of them almost and you can you know rely on the application it also keeps updating depending upon the current market value so you can you know definitely use a lot of this if you have a lot of clients from outside or if you're just wondering what it would be like if you transferred your earnings from one currency to the other definitely check it out link will be in the description below with that said at number four we've got irregular expressions and again this is an application that a lot of you will find really really fun now this is basically an app which lets you select between a plethora of different font styles directly from your keyboard to write quirky texts or you know basically customize your typing experience as well so the first thing you have to do after downloading it of course is go ahead and select the keyboard so you have to select the keyboard irregular expressions now as you can see this is a completely different keyboard and on the top you've got all the different fonts and different options now you can use this to customize your Twitter bio or your Instagram bio probably spice up a few emails and it's not the most professional keyboard in the world however it has a lot of different fonts and especially if you want to use it in a text field where they don't allow you to switch up fonts if it's not an application like MS Word or something this is something that is very quick something that you can use to you know change up the font so basically you've got a lot of fonts here type whatever you want and what I recommend is copying the text and then changing the keyboard back to your original keyboard that way you don't have to keep using this and you also have you know different fonts from a case-to-case -case scenario definitely check it out link will be in the description below 
and guys last but definitely not the least is odeon now odeon is apparently a very very nice music player which is once again open source simple clean and very minimal in general if you're looking for a music player that does what all offline music players should be able to do and has all the basic functionality and that is all you want except the dark and light mode which you can see over here other than that this is an outstanding application and i feel like it has a lot of cool features that your stock music player may or may not have and if you want an offline music player definitely check it out once again it's free link will be in the description below and well guys that is pretty much it for today's video here are five applications that are not on the play store that i really think will help you improve your experience of android a little bit more now the last video that we did on this topic is doing really well so i'm super grateful to all of you guys for watching it which is why i thought i think you guys would enjoy a new episode even more with that said uh, i i keep getting a lot of comments about why i don't cut my nails but if you'll notice uh the nails on my left hand are pretty negligible whereas i have nails on my right hand i am tired of you know commenting to every single person about this but i also play finger style guitar so yeah if you are about to comment that please don't because there's no way i'm going to cut my nails for aesthetics and ruin the functionality uh, that is there when you play finger style guitar who knows i might even cover i might even upload some covers here on this channel then it no longer would be a tech channel though anyway guys i uh, hope you guys love this video i love all of you for watching thank you so much for watching leave a like subscribe to the channel click on the bell icon comment below let me know which was your favorite application and i will catch you guys in a new video very very soon with that said this is anubhav signing out you guys have a great day stay safe peace out